Ha 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 Ben watches. Uh, Ben's in the in the watching game tape like Tom Brady, but it's just fat retards <laughs> with the pennies slowing down. He goes, yeah. "Look how the olive oil falls on his tits right there. Drop on the tit." Okay, what is this? Listen to this. Ben. So by the way, Ben said he's got something to surprise us with. Down, downstairs, he said that, so we don't oh. know what this is going to be. Jada was the woman that everybody wanted, and will needed that validation to have that type of woman you saw her say that will smith had a small dick oh i am saying to you, <laughs> you what <laughs> if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe show. there's nothing you can do to please her you can buy oh her. by the way this is will smith's former best friend and assistant <laughs> really are yes. you serious yes swear to god this card. his name is like Bilal something he looks like sean kingston <laughs> Now you can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg, she want that baby leg. You can beat a person so much that they fall into submission. So mm. all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne Ooh. and having an anal sex with Will. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he talking about? Is he talking about Dwayne Wade? Uh, yeah. I, have, I have no idea. Hmm. It's probably Dwayne. He's Wade, just talking though. about a good old boy named Dwayne. It has to be right from Harrell County, Texas. Man, I believe it. Will Smith seems person. gay, kind of. Yeah. There was a couch, Stop. and um, Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him, murder, like killing him, <laughs> murder. It was murder. Never lost. <laughs> Like, picture. look at how sad she is. Because <laughs> he's gay. Yeah, he's gay. He's gay. I know. It's like she just learned some great tragedy. Oh my god. <laughs> she can't do. She like once she goes to speak, and then she's like, I can't. It, it, I can't. I just. It's can't the even... look actresses have when the the marine shows up at the door and like takes his hat off. Yeah. yeah. To to let him know that her baby died in the war. Yeah. They go, ma'am. The president has granted me authority to tell tell you Will Smith is gay. <laughs> she goes. No! He was, he's no. all up in that. How did he say he was having gay sex? He was again? all up in that, <laughs> killing that yeah. shit. He goes, imagine the gayest sex you've ever heard of in your life, <laughs> and it was like two times that. Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him, murder, killing him, murder. It honestly feels it's like convincing. they consider gay sex to be like a murder, <laughs> <laughs> like as bad. <laughs> They're kind of talking that way. Mm -hmm. It was, it was like a drive-by <laughs> with a dick. <laughs> If you think about it, killing them, murder, murder, him. murder him. It was some thug shit. Is there any more on this? Uh, let's see here. His name is Brother Bilal. Brother Bilal. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll look. It, a guy yeah. named yeah, Dwayne most, Martin was having anal sex with him. Yeah, the most trustworthy guy in the world. Dwayne, who's Dwayne Martin? That sounds like a singer from the seventies. Yeah, Dwayne Martin. Uh, I'm gonna have to look him up, huh? Yeah, that, Brother Bilal. Brother Bilal. I mean. Listen, if you're with Jada Pickett Smith, has done a number on Will Smith, so you know it makes sense to me. She cucked him so much, he just let guys put it in his ass, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's he he's a broken man. He's a completely broken man. I mean, she talks about wanting to fuck Tupac all the time. All the how much better Tupac she was. Just, yeah, she just tweeted like a picture of her like Tupac dancing, yeah. like in the nineties. Did she fuck Tupac? Yeah, she used, she used to date. She used to date. They used to date. Date Tupac, which is funny because yeah. they looked like they were the same person having sex with each other. Yeah. You know. How did they break up? Hmm? How did they break up? She, uh, she <laughs> shot him to death. <laughs> yeah. They were really, they were just really good. I'm not even, they were really great friends and I'm sure they fucked, but mm -hmm. mm. they weren't together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure who Dwayne Martin is, but he's a, he's a black guy. He looks like a good looking black guy. And if I had, if I was mm. a betting man, which I am, mm -hmm. I would bet he put his cock deep within the bowels of Will Smith. I believe, I believe it's true. Benjamin. Your honor. Brother he, Benjamin. He murdered him. He killed him. You're murdering that ass. Your, ma your honor. It was really gay. We talking back shots. <laughs> <laughs> we talking back shots. Back front shots. Front shots. Shots from the south. Man, I wish there was more on this guy. That is, that is, yeah, the black people think being gay is like murder. They call it literally shots. Shots. Yeah. yeah. It's back shots. <laughs> There's got to be like a full interview, right? Ooh, here we go. And Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. Look at look at Jada real quick. I mean, mm -hmm. she looks like she fucks like people with tentacles. <laughs> 
There's just something very. Yeah. They're both so. A- I mean, he. They're alien. They're like in Scientology, kind of. Jada Pinkett Smith just keeps the, the just right. her hair at all time. I don't know. She wears like she looks like she wears turtlenecks and that she just is like does has like Star Trek sex. Yeah, she does like weird real sex sex like yeah. from like that '90s documentary. Yeah, right. You know? right. Yeah, where it's like old guys, like old sinewy guys, fucking and like throwing wax on each other, and they're like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like eyes wide shut sex. Yeah. Like there's guys like as she fucks August Alsina or whatever that guy's name was. Yeah. I actually I don't trust hot ladies that have short hair. They're too powerful. No, it's like just be a dyke already. <laughs> what are you with me for? Mm-hmm. Huh? Just be gay. Because Jada Pinkett Smith really wants to be in a lesbian relationship. One of those lesbian relationships where it really it looks like they're having a great time in public, but mm-hmm. you know when they get home, it's like Raging Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Which just, just, yeah. statistically is about 60%. Of a them. lot of them, yeah. dude. Oh, oh, they're like cops. They, they beat, beat the, the sh- fuck out of each killing other. Killing them. Murdering mm-hmm. them. They're like, did you leave my dildo on all night? <laughs> you fucking bitch. You fucking cocksucking you fuck. fucking mutt. You fuck my sister? Yeah. You fuck my sister? <laughs> You gotta be uh, pretty violent to every night in the bedroom. You're basically, uh, you know, playing joust. You know, you're attaching this huge uh, microplastic uh, rod. Oh, it's it, it looks like the thing that you, when you run out on a horse at another person with a horse with a, a, jab- a javelin. A ja- yeah. What is it called? Javelin. Javelin. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing at each other's pussies every night. They get on horseback. Yeah. And they're yeah. like. Whoosh. They're yeah. like whipping the horse yeah. and just running no, they, to they, the middle of the bedroom with put, their holes. They yeah. put two strap-ons on. They both get on Sibians and let it vibrate <laughs> towards each other. It is. It's sad. It is yeah. sad. Because, you know, Women the people you, you left had dicks. Yeah. They had yep. the real ones. <laughs> That's right. You know? Boy. Jada's an evil woman. To have that type of woman. You saw her say... That we'll I also love small uh, dick. Brother Balls. Oh, it's so great that he had a small dick and he's gay. <laughs> You're telling me he had a small dick? Not only that, he he liked to get fucked in the ass. He gay as hell. Not only by that, by black guys, <laughs> which is much worse. Much worse. <laughs> yeah, because I much act- worse. Much worse. I actually hate us. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's why I put on a shirt that looks like you put it over a throw pillow to yeah, do this podcast. Uh, dressed like Cliff Booth. Yeah, I love I love Brother Ball. I'll just imagine him that morning and be like, all right, what shirt should I wear to say Will had a small dick and got fucked yeah. in the ass? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to wear my shitty motel bedspread shirt. <laughs> yeah, driving to like some like Westlake Comedy Club podcast studio to be like, oh, so is this... Is this a chair where I can talk about Will Smith's tiny dick and get fucking the ass real hard? By the way, anybody who thinks we you've already watched this episode before, that's the one where, about Obama having gay black sex. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this Dude. is the one about Will Smith Imagine gay Obama. Black sex. I'm going to start a, a conspiracy that Obama and Will Smith used to fuck each other. Mm-hmm. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I could actually buy that. I, I bet it happened. Yeah. If, if Will was getting killed from behind. <laughs> Murdering him. Obama was flying drones up his ass. <laughs> Killing them. Killing, killing them. them. Killing them. I hate gay people. For killing real. them. They knew they probably been there after myself, mm-hmm. right? They will make you... Wait, wait. I don't know what he's talking about. Hold on. Damn. Somebody told me I made... Okay, so let me... This is a different cut up. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick. Oh, I am saying to you... Why is she so upset? He goes, I'm saying to you, Will Smith was just in the cheeks. <laughs> Small ass dick. Will <laughs> little itty bitty dick. <laughs> little itty bitty. Will used to l- rub his dick against the click because he couldn't even get it in all the way. <laughs> She's like, wait, 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 wait. So you telling me the Fresh Prince did he jack off with one finger and a thumb? <laughs> He's like, that's what I'm telling you, sister. Mm-hmm. Good sister. He girl. wanted to be gay. He couldn't even dock. Brother Belil. He he used to pretend a man's urethra was a pussy. His penis was so small. <laughs> Brother Belil. He fucked the penis hole and pretend the shit was a pussy. <laughs> Brother Belil. <laughs> Don't tell me he was too small to dock with another gay brother. <laughs> brother Bilal. Brother Bilal. <laughs> yeah, like they're in fucking Muslim church. He looks like he rides horses through Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what else he's saying in this. This is a different <laughs> clip here. To something the size of a baby league, and you come in with a pinky toe, 
there's nothing you can do to please her. You can buy her 80 cars. Yep. You can get her 80 So cars. this part yeah. we heard. She's itching for that baby lady. Yeah, she, she yeah. want that She'll never lady. be pleased because <laughs> she couldn't person. be with Tupac, like the most influential dude like ever. Because that's like, yeah, it's like a Bob yeah. Marley or an Elvis Presley. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And to, you know, I mean, the only bullet Tupac ever dodged was her. <laughs> Very good. Very, right, folks? Very Am good. I right? Hey, if, you, all right. Hey. if you wrote that down and handed it to Bill Maher, his, his <laughs> head would explode. <laughs> I also love Brother Belil. I love, he's got that like kind of DJ Academist type vibe, like the black incel podcaster type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they just talk about their like personally having a big dick and fucking wet pussy is cool. Yeah. And it's like if you like if you ever had sex one yes, time. Yes, the guys that talk about like yeah, they 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 sleep on a, like a race car bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like DJ Academics literally like will tweet he's like he's like, "Man, fucking Miley Cyrus that new post. I'm going to beat off to that for weeks." <laughs> <laughs> Definitely being in the vicinity of Will Smith. This guy's got pussy. But you can tell his dick looks like a turnip. Mm-hmm. It's very fat and like pointy and wispy at the end. Yeah, yeah. He, he got he got pussy. How homeless people get food from grocery stores. <laughs> he got just hanging out behind it. Yeah, just hanging out behind it. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then Will Smith comes and just jump dumps a pussy in a trash can. He's like, just. Yeah. Will Smith's like, hey, hey. But you can also tell him. because his dick sucks. He's the guy who thinks. He got really good mm-hmm. at eating box. Yeah. And he kind of is just average at it. Right. He thinks he's, you could tell with the mustache and everything, he thinks when he gets down there and he's spreading the, the lips open and, and doing whatever, you know, those types of dudes Oh, he do. tells you how to eat pussy like he's like telling you how to shuck an oyster. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, like how to? Yeah. 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 Got to put some horseradish on it. It's a family tradition. Yeah. It's like what I like to do is get a tiny little bottle of Tabasco sauce and a cracker. <laughs> I put it on there and I just I put it on with a little spoon. <laughs> yeah. The guys who like they're like let me tell you, let brother Belil tell you how to eat some good ass pussy. Here's how you do it, and they give you the worst advice. They're like you go in and you get your fingers and you spread it as hard as you fucking can. <laughs> you just stretch that pussy out till it's crying. Uh. Uh, and then you just start spitting at it. All right. So he says, "Will uh, Will Smith the small pussy fox guys in the ass mm-hmm. so much that they fall into submission." And who needs enemies when they got friends like you? Oh, I could tell you what goes on in, in, on the inside. Everybody else is just speculation. Damn. Somebody told me I made and my pictures in the book. You know, your yeah, your pictures in the book and your name is in the book. So I'm just like you doing some real. What a scumbag, dude! You up. I love that. I'm I love that. You up. Dude, what did what Will ever do to this thing. guy? Yeah, like a or, legitimate actual piece of shit. What a fucking asshole this <laughs> yeah. guy is. Yeah, uh, I'm sure gave him like some 80 grand a year job to just do fuck all. Yeah. Like, some loser he knew back from Philadelphia. He looks like he does podcasts just to finally drink water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shows up. He's like, so the hot meal, we, we have the hot meal ready. You that I was promised. <laughs> You up. This is what Jada makes the new people do. And I ain't going to say new. They probably been there after myself, mm-hmm. right? They will make you check into a rehab and they'll pay for the rehab. Even though you're not on drugs, they're going to pay for the rehab. And you have to go if you want to work with them. And then I've saw what is the rehab? Like gay conversion therapy? I, don't, I have no what idea. What type of rehab? He says even if you're not on drugs, you still have to go to rehab. So I guess they're paranoid about people working for them being users for some reason. Uh, oh. It's honestly, it's probably some weird, like controlling uh, Scientology bullshit that they're doing. Yeah, because they right, are right. Like, You can't let like demon possessed people who are ruled by that thing in outer space come into our home. Yeah. Whatever that thing's called. Because the, they There's are the Scientologists, right? Thing. Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah. They're like, if Cthulhu is, is ruling anybody, we can't let them in our home. Mm, it's yeah. probably something like that. So they have to go be cleansed or some bullshit. Right. Even though L. Ron Hubbard was like on more methamphetamines than Adolf Hitler. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Will Smith goes to like the the therapy from Bowfinger and puts a big triangle on his head. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, do not show your winky to the Laker girls. <laughs> that I, one I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Dwayne Martin. Just naming names. She's like, I mean, look at that reaction. She's like, you talking about two black men having sex? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Yep, <laughs> in, in, in weight gain. So three minutes later. After- wait, wait, did he call him fat? He said weight gain? Did he call him fat? Yep, in, in, in weight gain. You got to go back a so, little bit. Wayne Martin. Okay. 
Hollywood is the hurry up and and, and wait game. Oh. Wait so game. Wait three game. minutes later, after them telling me, "Hey, you got eyes on Will? You got we 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 need him to come watch this." So I'm running all over the the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where's this guy? He at? was sucking off so Vito Spadafore <laughs> <laughs> outside a construction site yeah. in New Jersey. So wait, Will had these no show jobs, and he bought he offered me Mets tickets when I walked out of the porta potty. <laughs> and I knew if I showed up, he'd either kill me or suck me off. And I don't know which is worse because I fucking hate gay people. And Dwayne down too, so I had the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. And I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like, I'm trying to find his. Like, I mean, this, this is, does this sound kind of a fake story. He's like, they walkie talkie me and I was responding, <laughs> then they called me on my cell phone at the same time. Get this, so we, we're on the set of I Am Legend. And Will starts trying to rewrite the script right there that all the little things that live in the dark, the zombie motherfuckers, they're gay. <laughs> and they're going to come out and he, the only way he finds out he can defeat them is by sucking all they did. Yes. He goes, he goes, he goes, get this, brother Letitia, or, or sister Letitia. He goes, get this. Will Smith loved Moonlight. <laughs> it made him cry. Sister Letitia, we were on the set of the, the Pursuit of Happiness, and Will turned to me and said, what if I fuck that little boy? <laughs> he, he wanted that little, And I go, that little boy is your son. He wanted to change the title of that movie to The Pursuit of Gay Sex <laughs> with yeah. black men. Yeah. He, originally, Wild Wild West was going to be called Wild Wild Sex. <laughs> and he would, the end of it was going to be a giant robotic penis that was going to fuck Will to death. <laughs> And I said, I said, Sister Juana, man, I said to him, I said, that is gay as hell. He wanted to rename the pursuit of happiness to the pursuit of bussiness. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see yeah. what else this uh, guy is saying. Why you think they call him a fresh prince? <laughs> I like him, right? So all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. <laughs> process that <laughs> so so black women hate gay home, hate gay sex more than anybody on the planet right she's about to vomit red wine all over the table it's mm. 11 a.m wherever the hell they're recording yeah, she's this. like hold on hold on i need i need a blunt and a mood real quick <laughs> He's like, we were, he, we were, he was trying to make independence gay. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. He said, it's independence gay. And he says, welcome to girth. He said, and he, then he, instead of punching the alien, he shoves his fist mm -hmm. up his whole ass until it comes. No, don't even get me started on men in black. <laughs> he tried to fuck every motherfucking last alien in that bitch. And he wanted to rename the shit men in bussy. Men in bussy. Now you think about that shit. <laughs> you think about that. You think about that shit, sister. Sister Martin Luther King, you're Malcolm gonna, X you're, Jr. You're going to need to give me 24 hours to process all this. Oh so my, I'm going to come right back. Oh, my God. You're going to give me. I need time. I need time. We're recording this in hell. <laughs> this there is no time. This, we're, this podcast is recorded in a hell dimension we've fallen into. Oh, my God. And that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. There was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing Let's just up say Will him. really like oxtail. Like, murder. There was murder in there. He's murdering it. The worst part, when he was fucking him in the ass, he was creasing his Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> the whole damn time. I said, Will, you're going to have a tiny little baby dick. Oh, there he is again. You're going to have a tiny little baby dick get railed in the ass, and he's going to fuck up your shoes. So this bitch's show is called Unwind. W I N E with Tasha K. Yeah, she's. Mm. And I'm all in. Because she gets drunk. Uh, they drink wine all the time. Oh my God! This is great. Explosive. Oh, this is awesome. You can watch the full interview. How? How do I watch it? Oh, it's on her website. What is this entrepreneur bullshit? Just put it on YouTube. Is that fucking Ben Zeno? Jesus that? Christ! Just a massive loser rapper from Boston that like tried to go at Eminem a long time ago. 
So she just talks to like people who are surrounded, who were next to. It's like I guess people. it's like Vlad TV, female Vlad TV or something. Mm-hmm. Again, the, and the thumbnails are you know it, it looks like a, a comedy flyer for you know a comedy show I've never been to. It, th- this is like really hard to navigate here. You could find it though. It must be the newest one. No, it's not. Oh, uh, it's not up there because the top one. And look, look, there's like seasons and. Mm-hmm. It's all like BET type stuff. I can't figure this out. Yeah, what she, is well, she this? shoots like documentaries or some shit. I don't know. This, these are her. She made a documentary about the Baltic tribes and then one about sex. I how how is what? Tasha K making a documentary about the Baltic tribes? That makes no sense. That makes no sense, Ben. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Twelve a month. Dude, I got to sign up to hear about him having gay sex. Jesus Christ. Imagine imagine signing up for Tasha K's podcast and you pay the one forty four for the year. (laughs) Okay. Should should right now should I just sign up for the membership real quick so we can listen to him talk? If you about do, gay do sex? not write this off on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, this is your money. Yeah. I do not. This is I your want to put this on the, the company card. <laughs> hey, but it says we get ap- access to her health and wellness series as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So you can learn how to die really quick. <laughs> Damn. Will was not my. Damn. So that. That's the juicy shit. But I want to hear more about him having gay sex. What are the comedy? Yeah, I want to hear a lot more about this. I, oh, you want to read the comments I, about him having gay sex? I I do know there was an inside. See if someone uploaded it to YouTube. There was you know you know how they do those um those actor like roundtables recently like they'll have variety. It's like ten famous actors and they talk about acting. There's a clip from one with Will Smith and it's like Will Smith, Robert De Niro, Adam Driver, and the clip is just Will Smith being like, yeah. So you know when I was like when I was in high school, my first girlfriend cheated on me yeah. with the quarterback of the team. And they're like, ah, you know, De Niro's like, ah, I mean, that's tough. Yeah. Oh, God. He's like, you remind me of my wife who I hate. <laughs> he leans over to Will Smith. He's like, hey, can you tell my wife to take yeah. it easy? De Niro goes, I have a kid that looks like you. <laughs> and then he goes, and he goes, I made a promise to myself that day that she cheated that if I become the most famous man in the world, I will never get cheated on again. And you saw like all these famous actors be like, Huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was our motivation, too. <laughs> Just like, oh, we're sociopaths, but this is like the most insane thing I've ever heard. Yeah. And then for him to be that, that's his biggest fear. And then he marries a woman who like publicly cocks him. He's gay, man. Holy shit. Look at Laura <laughs> Loomer. Is that real? I don't know. Is that a real I, no, picture? No, I, think, I, think, I think it actually is real. She looks like if Jigsaw was a whore. <laughs> Yeah, this is if Jig- Jigsaw went on back pages, he'd hire her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I want, I want to play a game. Oh my god, Come on, that you can't have to be a real person's face. Yeah. I want to play a game. You have sixty seconds to make me come, or I blow your brains out. <laughs> oh, this is the real one. This is the real. One. I mean, oh. it's not much better. Yeah, to be fair. Come on, that's a whole lot better. <laughs> Dude, it it looks like if you put a penny in her mouth, she would smash it, and it would have like the state capital on it. <laughs> <laughs> she looks insane. She looks completely insane. Were you you watching uh, the? Well, I'm loading a picture of, uh, of the cuck of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the cuck of the week, Mr. Bill Burr. What does this mean that they're breaking down the, the body the, language? So the green line test. I've actually Spoken studied like this a very, true beta. Yeah, I mean, you're very beta right now. I, every time me and my girlfriend are taking a picture, I scream at her until she passes the green line test. It's basically like if a boyfriend or a husband and wife are taking a picture, if the wife is not leaning towards the man facing him and he's facing kind of away from her, that means he's like a, a cock and she like uh, doesn't love him actually. Right. So okay. if he's leaning towards her facing her, that means he's a, he's a cock and a beta. Mm-hmm. That's the test. Okay. Got it. Got yeah. it. Yeah. So Laura Loomer is tweeting, why is Bill Burr married to this? Jesus Which, by Christ. the way, saying this about a black it's just woman insane. is very out it's there. It's insane. Is he a millionaire? LOL. If you're a millionaire, prioritize your health and get a personal trainer. There's no excuse for rich people to be severely obese and unhealthy. If you have money, prioritize your health. So I don't know who she, he's calling fat in this. I think you know who you she's know calling who fat. You know who she's calling fat. Don't play all whimsical and carefree here. She could be talking about Bill. No, I mean, no the she's... tweet is obviously about. No, Bill can lose four pounds. It's about his. <laughs> <laughs> it's about his fat black wife, Ben. <laughs> Welcome to X. Cut. 
You know, you know, it was so funny. I, I know I text you guys this, but it was uh, Owen Benjamin had that insane tweet where he called. Uh, he goes, I feel sorry for her married to Daquisha. Yeah, he yeah. goes home and it's the TMV. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And I sent it to you guys. And I go, I go, I go, man, not even Camille would tweet that. And then you immediately <laughs> screenshot it. Yeah. Camille being like, fuck this black whore. Yeah. <laughs> Camille is posting pictures from the zoo. <laughs> I was like, well, I, I stand corrected. Uh, I apologize. Man. Yeah. I, I don't get this at all. Like, like, cause she flipped off. Don't, like it's he. So people were mad that she flipped off Donald J. Trump, our 44th and possibly 46th president. <laughs> I think it was and our 45th. Our, oh, okay. 45th. And also our, our current president. He won. Yeah. Don't forget that. 45 and 46 and soon to be 47. <laughs> you know what's bullshit about this, by the way, is the camera guy might have not been completely vertical. Because if you if the camera guy was tilted a certain way, then you could change it to where he's more upright. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, don't I think know. he it's just loves his wife, yeah, it's, and, it's, and she she has opinions, and mm-hmm. he doesn't have to have them. And yeah, they it, keep saying his comedy chain. Like I I saw like a live podcast he did recently. He's just going off for an hour. He's like the same guy, you know. Obviously, it's not as memorable. Right. Of specials, I mean, I saw. But, I, I mean, I saw one tweet about I was kind of digging into it. And one guy was like, listen, I love Bill. I love the old dads, but this is woke nonsense. I'm like, old dads is the worst thing he's ever made. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't it wasn't very good. It was not very good. It was it wasn't horrific, though. Was it not actually? Okay, I actually to be fair. didn't think I, I was like, whatever. It was what okay. it was fine. It wasn't as bad as That's I thought. Fair. I just saw but. a trailer of Bobby Cannavale being like, my pronouns are, you know, he, oh, yeah, him. Yeah. your pronouns are like tweet. Uh, Facebook. There's a lot of lame boomer like on the nose shit, mm-hmm. but it was you know whatever. I don't know. I just Bill Burr's great and yeah, Bill Burr's he, amazing. Fuck these psychopaths. Yeah, he's also very very nice in person. He's incredibly uh, giving and very kind and very funny and uh, very very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you met so. Bill Burr, where you it, it was your internal monologue like, do not mention his black wife. Do not mention his black wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you screw it up. You go, hi, yeah. uh, nice to meet you, black wife. I heard. <laughs> What is it like being married to Patrice? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, good Lord. That's so funny. Good de- God, good goddamn Lord. God bless him. But if you are a millionaire, you should prioritize your health and get a personal trainer, whatever that means. Yeah, she also I went down a, a long rabbit trail. I think this was right after she gave birth to one of their kids because she's like much fitter. Yay. On all of her Instagram pics and shit. <laughs> look at look at that thing. <laughs> I know. Um, hi, aren't you a millionaire? <laughs> Prioritize your health. My um, my face <laughs> is full of botulism. <laughs> if you cut my face open, it would kill most of the people in this room. My what? plastic surgeon, it's a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> what did Laura Loomer, Loomer do besides chain herself to the Twitter headquarters? Um, I think she. Uh, I don't really know what she's famous for. She just seems like a psychopath. So she's just retarded. Yeah. Yeah. Does she really look like this? I think she I didn't like know people could look like this. Yeah, most Ooh. I mean, yeah. Ooh. She looks like uh like the Dylan Mulvaney or something. <laughs> well, I mean, she's got as much surgery as like a trans woman yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> she converted she could, she went trans from woman to <clears throat> thing. <laughs> she, she will become so ugly at some point. The right wing people will start boycotting her, thinking she's like post op. <laughs> like, I mean, get she that looked, thing out of yeah. Here. She looks legitimately post off. Yeah, I mean, but if I'm being completely honest, like you know, would oh, I mean, yeah, you could say that. You could yeah. say that about oh, the yeah. guy on the right. I'd fuck him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it would. I yeah. hate fuck them both. <laughs> yeah, it would. That's always the thing with people. Like, would you? I'm like, in a vacuum, I would fuck almost every living being. <laughs> if like I could if I could walk into an imaginary room and then I fuck them and then the the, the thing disappears and it doesn't exist like yeah, yeah of course yeah like, why not yeah exactly this is that margarine butter whore or what's her name <laughs> man I, th- they really look like two NFL players who who became women yeah after they retired it looks like white chicks yeah no they legitimately like they have CTE you can tell I, I will say this is what I imagine when I walk into a swingers party for the first time after my wife has left me and I stop drinking again. Mm-hmm. This is the this kind is of pussy there. that will be at my fingertips. Yeah, you have to fuck the Wayans brothers in whiteface. 
No, a woman that vaguely looks like Alex Jones. Mm -hmm. And a person who, even if I squint my eyes, is still a dude. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she looks like the lead singer in Panic at the Disco, like like now. <laughs> if you squint, she kind of looks like Kevin Bacon in Tremors. Like if you just put the cowboy hat on her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she looks, I mean, she's got like Jackie Gleason's nose. It yeah, really she, sucks ass. She looks like Bill Pullman. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of does. What is this bitch known for? What does she do? I don't know. She just wears that red hat that people don't like that have nothing going on in their life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, the, like a lot of these people just seem famous for their like I tweeted about, you know, mm -hmm. I tweeted a video of a black kid stealing honey buns somewhere. And, you know, that's what I do for a living. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll do the thing that I do every week where I type in why is so and so famous. And I have to do this 90 times a week in private. She tweeted what a surprise about a black guy like punching somebody once. And, mm -hmm. and then everyone's like, oh, she's she's a queen. I'm like, she's a queen. She's got a pussy. Mm. I love her. Her Wikipedia says she's a far right and anti-Muslim. Dude, she is, she is our age. She was born in 1993. I thought she was a 65-year-old Wow, woman. I'm older than her. That's insane. That's I'm older. crazy. Yeah, I'm older than her. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, like she got banned from Twitter, I guess, because she's a proud Islamophobe or something. I mean, who gives a shit? Yeah, who, These people are in fake wars with each other. Mm, you know? Yeah, who, who gives a yeah, fuck? Proud fuck. Islamophobe. I hope, all, I, hope, I hope people that hate her die, and I hope she dies. Yeah, I hope people that like her die. Hope they all die at once. Mm -hmm. I hope anybody who saw that article and clicked on it, it gave you cancer in your mm -hmm. brain and you died. But uh, yeah, she's mad about a uh, Bill Burr uh, having a black wife and him kind of leaning over to the side a little bit and his black wife being fat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never stop looking at this. I'll never stop looking at this photo of her. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just leave this on? Bye. I haven't turned around the whole episode because we've just been watching a guy uh, talk about Will Smith having gay. <laughs> <laughs> this literally, like, this literally, like, she looks like if you were drunk driving at night in the woods, like she would run in, in front of your head beams and look at you. No, like she's that. something from cryptozoology. Yeah, <laughs> she really is. She's, like, she's running on all fours and yeah. she's carrying like a dead chicken in her mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks like an extinct species. Yeah, she looks like she has two rows of teeth. There really are crazy fucked up stories about like, you know, in, in the middle of the country about cryptozoology where a lot of people report seeing the same thing and there's no explanation for it. Right. Oh, it's mm. interesting. It comes in places where like fetal alcohol syndrome peaks. Yeah. You know, people, if you, if you gave them a CAT scan, they would be missing half. Right. It's just that this half is completely dark. Yeah. There's not people in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they have lung cancer in their brain. Yeah. No, like their brain is the moon. Yeah. <laughs> they have a waning brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were born with a stroke. Mm -hmm. Can only use the left side of their body. But I'm just saying there's nobody like, like people in Switzerland aren't being like, we saw a big moth and it had a face. That is Jace actually kind of makes a good point. Yeah. It's a guy who's like, I live inside of a muffler and I saw yeah, I saw the retard deer baby man. Yeah. Of Jackson <laughs> Fuck. Jackson <laughs> Fuck, Mississippi. Wait, did, uh, hold on. Scottish have the Loch Ness Monster, which makes sense because they're all. Like, yeah. They're basically what we have here. Yeah, they're retarded. Yeah. They're retarded. The, tra cold. the trailer park of Europe, mm -hmm. the Scottish. Thank you for inventing golf, but you guys can go like you genocide yourselves mm -hmm. now yeah, they, with alcohol. Yeah, we get it. You There was the Braveheart movie or whatever. Who gives a shit? And thank you for golf. Uh, but Scotland has like the Loch Ness Monster, but isn't there one weird folklore thing in like it's it's in like um, not it's either Finland or Maybe it's in Sweden. Isn't there a weird fucked up thing that like comes out of the woods and is like a it's like a beast? It's just a Jewish like, person. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. Yeah, the tale of the normal Jewish guy <laughs> in what Sweden. Jewish guy. Yeah, they're like there was one guy here who was not six foot seven <laughs> and had a giant white penis. Are you talking about like night crawlers? Or night walkers. There's like these You're things about in Hawaii. Walkers, right? There's, I think there's like there's, yeah, maybe there's these things and people think they see in Hawaii in the woods and shit. Oh, really? What are those called? I think night walkers. I think. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. I know Native Americans. I'm sorry, Indians had uh, skinwalkers like that. The Wendigo. 
was a big thing for them. Like the troglodyte people? Well, they thought it was they thought it was a person would like kill an Indian and then they would take their form and basically like infiltrate infiltrate the group. That's why they called yeah. them a skinwalker. And in Ireland oh. they call them changelings. Mm. I think. Right. In Hawaiian mythology, mythology night, night marchers. marchers or spirit ranks are the deadly ghosts of ancient tribal Hawaiian warriors. The night marchers are the vanguard for a sacred king. It's just property developers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, it's the guys from The Descendants. Yeah, it's a guy from Harris Casino. Like, this is great land. It's a guy going like, hmm, all that land burned down. Very interesting. <laughs> I think this is great timing for me. Yeah, this is gay. They're like the ghosts at the end of The Lord of the Rings that like fight crime and stuff. Yeah. That's gay. Yeah, that's very gay. Yeah, I don't, very gay. I don't care about tribal ghosts. Look at that stupid shit. Get out of here, you Guillermo del Toro character. What? Well, Wait, wait, wait. Is that Laura Loomer? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, is this real? Guys. I think this is freaking me Th- out. This is why I well, this is why I've had to delete social media off my phone. Because I was turning into a massive retard where I would send something into a group chat with people and it'd be like this. Yeah. And I'd be like, is this real? Right. And then something that would happen, I would send to them, and it definitely happened. And was definitely real. And I'd be like, I don't know. It seems kind of fake. <laughs> yeah. Like I was just merging everything to this middle ground no. of like a lim- liminal space where nothing is real. Yeah. Except I'm like, things, things that, are that real. aren't real are actually real. And things that aren't are real aren't real. At yeah. All. No. Your brain was turning into the hallway of a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a hedge mage in your own brain. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I've, I've literally been in group texts and you'll send like the bat baby from the National Enquirer. You'd be like, this is real. And then you'll send a picture of 9-11. You'd be like, this is not real. This didn't happen. This is not fake, but there was a big baby that was shaped like a bat. And it flew It flew to space. It flew to space and it fucked John Travolta. Because the magazine they sell next to tampons and candy bars Pro- told me so. Probably real. Probably real. Who's to say? Except Who's except say? except physics. I know two. Th- I know two things. I know two things. The bat baby is real, and the Holocaust is not. Yeah, and once I I connected in my brain that I was doing that, I pointed that out to them, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, you have to you have to get off the internet for a while." Yeah. And I've just, I've kind of been, I've deleted it off my phone and it's been nice. I, I get the impulse because I want the world to be a lot more interesting than it is. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I, I want, want, I want gay retarded bullshit to be real. Yeah, yeah. I want there to actually be evil forces and demons and devils and this weird, you know, Guillermo mm-hmm. del Toro guy living in the woods. But like the truth is just like, oh, there's a lot of people who just like want to make more money and they're not even necessarily evil. And because of that, like everything sucks and is fucked. And if you don't have all that money, then you're kind of fucked. And that's like really the only thing that really exists in the world. And that's like just kind of boring and depressing. Yeah, Everything's incredibly predictable and transparent. Yeah. So that's why we like, you know, there to be like monsters out there and stuff. I think that's the comforting thing about zombie films for people, right? Yeah, because you want to you want to be able to shoot everyone in the head. Because <laughs> it's a it's basically a human being zombie you, movie. Yeah, they it just, gives you the green light to not have empathy and just exactly kill. you shoot it in the head. You teach your kid how you have to shoot them in the head. Shoot mm-hmm. your mom in the head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why we love it you, all. You have to do you it. You have to do it. You mm-hmm. have to do it, or you're a bad person. Oh, actually. we have like gone so we. It's becoming so mainstream. Not even zombie movies. Like the fact that Joker was such a like such a nationwide phenomenon. Like so many normies love Joker. Like yeah. that brought the whole that brought everyone's yearning for mass murder together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like even anti gun people, everybody was into Joker because we all secretly want to murder everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, like there was normal. Like Patrick Mahomes was like tweeting like, "Wow, that movie is crazy." Oh, I, a bully really goes to show like what bullying can do to some people. <laughs> it's like a guy like fucking killing people. Yeah, a guy worth four hundred million dollars. Like, listen, I all I know, I want to blow everybody's brains out <laughs> in the street. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. So I guess the everybody, like, when there's a mass shooting, like, in the news, everyone's like, could have been me. Well, that's that's why everybody gets so and, angry and about Maybe next week it will be. Yeah. Everybody gets mad about mass shootings because they get jealous. They're like, oh, man. I wanted to shoot I up that massage yeah. parlor. Yeah. Yeah. 
I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. I wish there would be more cool mass shooters, honestly. Like, they, I really wish, like, somebody would be like, yeah, I shot up, like, an FBI building or yeah, something. Yeah, like, Justified, like, IRS. Yeah, yeah, I blew up I blew up a fucking Raytheon building, yeah. you know? Instead of, like, oh, I shot up, you know, the ladies who went and jacked me off at the massage parlor, I killed them. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, what I, a- <laughs> I smell too bad. I, they said I smell too. They smell too much more like onions when they suck me off at the massage party. <laughs> and so they have to. I have to send them to hell. <laughs> I have to send them to Korean bitch hell. <laughs> it's like you just want to grab those guys and be like, no. There's so there's a Halliburton yeah. building on yes, Fifth and like, Fairfax. You yeah. have the right instinct. Actually, I go, listen, I don't want to discourage this because you have a gift. You mm-hmm. have a calling. I just want to redirect it at something that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Someone said once it's like it's like scoring a basket before the wrong team. Yeah. It's like right idea. You just got to do it over there. Yeah, exactly. But even if they did do that, everyone's such a company man. Like people would still be like, well, they are, what are they supposed to like? Innocent people work at the FBI. Yeah, and they're dude, just doing their job. Yeah, dude, fucking Hitler's grand nephew works at the FBI. <laughs> all right, there's good people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There could be more virtuous shooters. There's no. There's also no great big fat people who are shooters. And I'm sorry if I've said this on the podcast before. I'm not certain I have, but there's never great big fat guys. It's a real. It's really. Well, it's a damn, every, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Because <laughs> well, the world's gone too. Every great fat guy is, thinks they'll stop the mass shooter. Mm-hmm. See, that's but that's even that's, that's even sicker. Yeah. than wanting to do a shooting is fantasizing about stopping a mass shooting. Well, yeah. that's the, that's sick. That's the thing is that's their own, the only thing their bodies are built for. So like it's the only time they can come in handy. Yeah, that mm-hmm. somebody's like, oh, there's a human wall we can push at the shooter, and just like that, I'm empathizing with fat people for the first time. Listen, in my life. if you, <laughs> <laughs> I view them as people almost for a second. Mm-hmm. If you were in a shoot mall shooting, you would want the whale next to your side at that moment. <laughs> yeah, tell me I'm wrong. In his walker, and you're just behind him, like just like fucking, you know, yeah. like you're running like a wedge in football. Because you think e- the shooter, even <laughs> despite being a sociopathic murderer, <laughs> the morsel of morality he'll have, he'll see a big fat worthless guy, and then you, he'll shoot the fat worthless guy over you, hopefully. Or, right? or if you're hiding behind the guy, like I like to think he's like walking up to a baby, blowing its head off, like fucking spearing a Chinese lady, and then he gets to the big fat guy, he's like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that would almost feel worse if you knew you're what you looked too pathetic for the guy to shoot you. Yeah, the guy who wants to kill 50 people one time was like, That guy's really bumming me out. You go to therapy (laughs) for it. (laughs) I just don't know why. Why not me? You know, Mm -hmm. women won't pick me, incels won't shoot me. Like, what am I doing wrong? The therapist's like, You're a big fat piece of shit. Charlie from the whale, though. Yeah, Brendan Fraser playing Charlie from the whale in the big fat suit. In the big fat suit. If that guy was a mass shooter at the mall, that would be kick ass, especially if he was doing it in a motorized scooter. Yeah, that would be great. And it's kind of like blowing him in circles while he's shooting. Oh, yeah. He's first at the mall. He's first. He's going to GameStop. Mm-hmm. He's blowing everybody away. Mm-hmm. He's he's shooting up yeah. Hastings because yeah. well, he's he, wanted to fuck one girl that's worked there for 33 years. He kills everybody at GameStop. The employees. <laughs> I mean, how is GameStop even still open? I actually don't know because isn't everything on Steam? Yeah, now? no one's in there. Yeah, it's yeah. just shooters, It'd and they go, the- "Oh, no one's here again." <laughs> <laughs> the cops would show up. They and then the Brendan Fraser from the Whale playing Charlie, mm-hmm. like they wouldn't kill him because he'd be, he'd be like, "I have to know that I've done at least <laughs> one thing right with my life." And they're like, ah, oh, man, I can't, I can't do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, all the cops start killing themselves. <laughs> like he's just it's such a good performance yeah it'd be the first uh it'd be the first shooting with a panera break in the middle of it <laughs> <laughs> you'd go to the food court and get some yoshinoya yeah mm. yeah the Bread bowls are amazing. The bread bowls are amazing. I can't wait to blow that girl's head off. <laughs> it's amazing. And then he's like, and then he turns to he turns to a, a guy at Panera and he goes, I have I have gay sex by the way, <laughs> and I jack off to gay pornography. By the way, I'm a fucking fag. <laughs> <laughs> and a black dude shoots him in the head. <laughs> Yeah, brother Belil. <laughs> brother Belil, yeah, dude, it's, dude, it's brother Belil through the pockets. He's like, I, I walked in on Brendan Fraser from the whale, tiny baby dick, because he's so fat. 
and he was getting his shit rocked by the pizza delivery murdering guy. Murdering him. The pizza Killing delivery him. guy. Murdering him. Killing murdering him. that ass. And I said, disgusting. I fucking hate that shit. I was just, I was literally thinking about, because I was thinking about the whale. Well, I told you, I didn't know you were going to Best Buy earlier. And That's I just why. found out that that the whale was five ninety nine on Blu ray at Best Buy because turns out nobody wants to buy that yeah. except for me. I know. Oh, yeah. I, I literally I I was in the middle of a Best Buy because I had to buy an SD card for the podcast. And Ben texts me, he's like, "Can you see if they have the whale on Blu ray?" And I just pretend I didn't see it in time. <laughs> you motherfucker! Because I'm gonna have to go to the Blu ray in Northridge now to get it. Uh, and you should. You should have to do yeah. that in person. Because it's eleven ninety nine on Amazon. I don't want to like. I would rather buy child pornography in person <laughs> than a Blu ray of the whale. There's are these bonus features on it where uh, they show us how the you whale text, actually takes you shit. You texted me. <laughs> he texted me. I ignored that text, and then two minutes later, he goes, "There's a ton of bonus features on it." By the way, and I was as like, if to entice him to was, turn back. I was like, "Dude, fuck yeah. off." The audio commentary is just chewing sounds. <laughs> Yeah, you, it's the it's the only um, DVD menu where you can order food delivered. <laughs> it functions as a Postmates too. But I was thinking about the whale on the way over. I know we talked about it ad nauseum, but it's still, well, it's been a full year. You guys b- banned me from talking about it for like fifty straight episodes. I mean, you saw it seven times in a row, and it's. I think it's truly because you just love laughing at fat people because mm-hmm. it's not. I loved how when the movie came out. Darren Aronofsky was like, we took a lot of time. We wanted this to be respectful and actual exploration of what this person is like. And then the first scene of the movie is him having a heart attack, jacking off to gay porn. <laughs> That's the first scene in the movie. Yeah. Then he starts choking on a beatball sandwich. Yeah. No, literally. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And the whole theater probably is just filled with guys like me all sitting by themselves are like hey look at him yeah he's fucking fat fuck him yeah it's just guys doing this like <laughs> guys doing since spin <laughs> fat fag it's you guys doing this and then you walk out you go i loved it because of it was an empathetic <laughs> portrait of a of a troubled man i felt like i was on broadway i felt like i was on broadway <laughs> yeah and then people just being like brendan fraser was a fantastic that was fantastic acting it's just him scarfing down a hogan going like my girl my daughter's not a cunt guys <laughs> That movie doesn't. You know what? A year later, that movie doesn't even fucking make sense. No, yeah, the daughter's an not, evil it, piece the of shit. The daughter's an evil piece of shit. And no, Ben, you're gonna take this no, right now. The movie doesn't make piece, the movie doesn't make sense. It's literally his daughter posting on Facebook like, "Hey, I killed this cat this morning. I choked it to death." Yeah. And it's Brendan Fraser going like, "She choked it because she cares. <laughs> She's a special girl who cares." <laughs> And he's like, he has her read the essay, which sucked ass, by the way. It was such a piece. He goes, it's an honest essay. No, it, fuck off. Yeah. It sucked. Fuck you. This book made me think about my own life. This book made me think about my own life. Mm. No, it was literally, you, you watched it because you're like, there's a really fat guy and he ate a big You literally watched it just like like for the scene of like Homer going like, ah! <laughs> 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 Stand up in the theater like, ah! <laughs> Everybody, come on, laugh at him! <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> Fuck this man! <laughs> no, but uh, the movie's actually... It's perfect film. The daughter, it, like... It's, it's Kino. Doesn't she... She, like, kidnaps, like, a Jehovah's Witness, too, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah she's it's an awful person. Fine. It's Pe- not good. People are amazing. People are amazing. This is good acting to go, people are amazing. Uh-huh. How did his throat get all fucked up, by the way? Did he, like, suck like a big... He sucked a Will Smith's was his, dick. Was his throat <laughs> fucked up in the movie? He's had... So he had to retire from acting for, like, 10 oh, years because actual... he had so many... And I know this because I listened to his WTF. Sure. Which mm. I want everybody to know before they start calling me a fag in the comments. I haven't listened to WTF since, like, 2013. Mm. Okay. But you, I... say, you say Brendan Fraser is who I break this out for. <laughs> Listen, I like the guy. He's a great actor, but he has nothing interesting to say. Yeah, I don't care about yeah. anything he has to say. Everything I've, I've, I've mm-hmm. seen the interview interviews with him where they treat him like he's a retarded child yeah and they literally they go to him they're like people are so glad you're in movies again because if you weren't famous like why wouldn't you blow your brains out like there's no reason you don't have any worth yeah, yeah. and your we're life's so, basically over you're dead your life's basically over and we're glad you're still getting roles even though you're a fat faggot piece of shit which sucks and you should you ha- we hate you I think it's so inspiring. They treated him just as retarded as the Asian guy and the extremely the annoying. The Asian guy drove me fucking movie. insane. That guy what is, Asian guy? The uh, uh, Kehu Kwan from yeah. 
Um, the Asian lady. No, or are you guys no, calling him an Asian no, the guy? Asian no. guy won too. The, the guy who played short round in the Indiana oh, Jones. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Asian lady and the whale. Sorry. No, no, no. no. We're, we're done talking about the whale forever <laughs> until we're dead. <laughs> but no, the Asian guy Kehu Kwan, who was in um, everything, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah, he's still showing up at red carpets, like surprising, like you know, one in, of the yeah. He's like surprising sloth from the Goonies. He's walking up. He goes, "Hey, how are you going? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretending to be mentally retarded for yeah. some reason. <laughs> he's got like Velcro shoes on. <laughs> no, literally, like, I can't tie my shoes. I eat applesauce yeah. all day." <laughs> I'm like a little boy. <laughs> People are like that's great. I fucking I fucking hate Asians. That rules. Just little symbols. And yeah. That, that toy monkey. Hat. No, it's it's literally like yeah. it's literally like guys who like actually are like viciously hate everybody. I know we like kind of do it as a bit, but it's guys who are like that's that's great. That's not disingenuous at all because I actually fucking think Asians are bugs. <laughs> that's what I actually think in my head. <laughs> That's what I actually think. And I really, for real, think if Brendan Fraser's not at famous in movies, like there's no reason for him to be alive. That's what I really believe in my heart. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So I hated that. And it was just interview after interview of just Brendan Fraser. They're like, we're so glad you're, you're famous uh, again. And he's being like, guys, th- I did Bedazzled in 2000. And that's like the whole interview. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He's really actually down to earth, though. CBS Sunday Morning did a great thing about him where he's which I, by the way, I love CBS Sunday Morning because they're always. Wait, what are you? About Can to I say? tell you? I love CBS Sunday Morning. It's I the actually greatest, really do. It's the greatest thing on television that's Why? ever who's been on made. It? What is the, who's who's the, oh they have like a bunch of hosts. There's that gay guy, Charles Osgood. Yeah, Charles Osgood, uh, okay. black guy. It is there's white ladies. It is the one news program a week where they're like, hey, we really need to tap into the 97 year old market at CBS. Right, right. And it's every Sunday morning. It's like it's 6 a.m. And it's Charles Osgood, who's this little fucking gay guy in a bow tie who's 100 years old. And he goes, we um, we talked to uh, Henry Winkler about what it's like to cook with dyslexia. <laughs> and then it's just it's they do the most softball pitch, gentle ass like they're talking to Henry Winkler. And they're like, so you um, you can't read a cookbook. He's like, no, but you still made muffins. He's like, I did. And they're like, That's amazing. That's amazing. And they go here at Henry Winkler's 40,000 square foot mansion in upstate Wisconsin. He finds peace and a little bit of solace from the Hollywood oh. lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And then it shows them walking. He goes, yeah. And I uh, killed and buried my first <laughs> wife over there. And my second wife, Sheila, I killed and buried her yeah. back there behind those rocks. It's, it's tons of actors being like, yeah, so this is the place where I staged a tractor that I pretend I work on. Mm-hmm. And this is a field hand. I pretend I know his first name, even though right. you know later I'll kick him when you leave. Mm-hmm. It's the most softball shit of all time, and it actually kind of rules. Shit. They could have like they'll have like you know like controversial figures on like Elon Musk stuff. Like they could have Adolf Hitler on, and they'd be like, "So you love dogs?" <laughs> He's like, "What I do? I yeah. hate Jews, but I love dogs." And they're like, "So you're not Mr. Hollywood, huh?" I like uh, ABC. It's a little like tackier because it's all murder or uh, like really low level extremely like basic morality questions. Wait, what what show though? What would you do? You ever seen that? Oh, with no. the Frankie with Quijones? John Quinones or whatever. Quijones, yeah. it's, it's like like, you know, chubby Mexican dude. Like they do like a like a like a prank show kind of where actors are in public. Oh, I've seen this shit. And it'll yeah. be like a like somebody pretends to have Down syndrome and like all these kids will be like, you fucking retard. <laughs> you don't even know how to eat. Like hold your fry better. <laughs> and people just watch. And like a lot of times people don't do anything. <laughs> and then he comes out, he goes, I noticed you didn't do anything. Like, why was that? And you know, people it, just be like, cause he's fucking retarded. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Like that was a really weird, uncomfortable situation. It was very uncomfortable. Where I felt unsafe and felt like I was in a dream. Yeah. Of some mm-hmm. kind. They're like, okay, well because of that, we're now going to ruin your life. This is going on TV, yeah. whether you like it or not. So did they put people in situations where you're supposed to like stop racism. Yeah, and, like, stop. yeah exactly. But it's so exactly. it's so over the top. It's not it, even like oh, a lady's yeah. being rude to a waiter. It's a guy like literally going like to like in a restaurant like to a black waiter, being like, I don't like you because you're black and I'm a racist. Yeah. Does anyone have a problem with that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then it'll be like and one. Brendan Fraser stands up. He goes, Your Honor. <laughs> 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 Well, there'll be there'll be one guy in the sh- there will be one guy in the show who sheepishly go like he's like I think racism sucks mm-hmm. and then Frank the Keanu's guy will be like why were you a brave citizen I had a black friend in the Air Force 
they're not all bad. And then John Cena's like, okay, okay, back to commercial. <laughs> okay, back okay. to uh, get him yeah. out of here. Yeah. He's like, put him back in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> put him, uh, I'd like to put my boot on his face and just get out of here. But you were saying you watched the CBS Sunday morning with Brendan Fraser. Oh, yeah. And he's doing the classic thing where he's out on the ranch and he's, He's uh, showing where he makes his little campfires, and he's shooting a bow and arrow, and he sucks ass at it, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And he has he has a big cowboy hat on, and he's just sort of like waddling like an enormous duck mm -hmm. through his yard. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, and it's the only show that it's true. It doesn't. It's it, it's not something that transfigures your pain in the way like yeah. great art <clears throat> or media does. It transcends the pain where it offers you a total escape from life and anxiety yeah. and depression and thoughts of death. Where you're just you're watching it and it's like you're floating on this cool uh, digital babbling brook and you just forget yeah. you're even alive. It's it's, it's it's mindless horseshit. It's truly yeah. it's it's a simulator for having a chicken cutlet brain like seventy percent of Americans. It's really it's mm -hmm. really beautiful because mm -hmm. it is so obviously staged and fucking fake, but they never. It'll you know they'll like have Julia Roberts on and they'll be like she's like so this is the orphanage where I take care of all the kids and they're like that's obviously not planned at all mm -hmm. that rules you didn't hire a PR team to like make you seem blue collar and not like a sociopath who needs to stay famous and at all costs and they'll act like these things are cute where it's like Nicole Kidman has the world's biggest quilt collection where she owns over 30,000 quilts. Mm -hmm. And they're like, so Nicole, like, what made you get into quilting? And she's like, well, I have an excess amount of money and I have to spend it on something because I'm I'm bored and have no inner life. Right. And you with a disease. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to be like, wow, that's, a, that's actually amazing and makes you like a real human being for some reason. Yeah. And you with a diseased brain, you're like, no, talk about the time Tom Cruise made you eat a kid with him. Yeah. <laughs> But that puts you in just hell <laughs> all the time. If you can have that smooth fucking chicken cutlet brain. Oh, yeah. Where you're like, well, she said it. So that means it's true. Now I'm going to mm -hmm. watch the United States of Al. Yeah. And just have the bliss yeah. of the Buddha because I suck ass. Yeah, it's TV for your grandma. Yeah. I'll yeah. rewatch some of these videos over and over. I have some of them memorized. I'll mm -hmm. just go back to them. Mm -hmm. I'll, 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 I've watched the Tom Hanks typewriter one a bunch of times. Where he's just, like, he just like loves old typewriters. He has the biggest typewriter collection. And I, I, mm. I know like all the models of typewriters. And I've been to the typewriter repair shop that he goes. There's only two in L.A. And I went to the one that he always goes to. And mm. I've talked to the guy who knows Tom Hanks. Mm. And like I've seen his typewriters there. And I like I just watch it. And I like the clicking and the clacking. And. Mm. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's just it's again, it's just, you know, every yeah. now and then you feel yourself free falling through a, you know, a yeah. bottomless pit into the depths of hell. And then you just click that and yeah, everything's yeah. Good it's again. great. It's just Tom you're, Hanks you're, talking like, about typewriters. You're just riding on the wings of a of a bluebird. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, you, and you're like this. You're rocking back and forth through the clouds like a giant toddler. And you're like, we, 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 you two premium rules. Yeah. Wee! No ads. And I'm like, wow, well, Tom Hanks loves the old thing with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm definitely not thinking about how he publicly cheated on his wife for 20 years and has a retarded wigger son because he abandoned him. <laughs> so relatable. Like, he's like one of the most famous actors of all time. He's a multimillionaire. I'm a fucking retarded <laughs> loser. We're, the, we're like the same. Does he, uh, by the way, we all know he fucks kids, obviously, but I didn't know he was a bad <laughs> husband. <laughs> what did he beat his wife well he didn't get a, a sitter when he went to epstein's island mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah what a cunt yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how you that's how you get a wigger retard for yep. sure a kid fucker though by the way for sure a kid fucker. oh he, definitely no he, he definitely always... called he's like hey remember he called his agent he's like remember when i made that movie uh big mm -hmm. he's like is that machine real <laughs> <laughs> can we put all the people through that machine can and we, make them really young can we turn my wife into a baby so i can fuck her <laughs> can we make her on big um no I, i'm just like i'm just like over his like smaltzy like hey i'm just a good good guy tom yeah Hanks. i'm sick of he always plays like the greatest hero of all time every every role he's the hero mm -hmm. of the whole fucking like sully captain uh philip yeah. saving private ryan no, not the biggest hunk of shit ever made the elvis movie he's the bad guy oh right right, right. well that's how he plays he talks like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, <laughs> somehow, <that's>... somehow, <laughs> the, like somehow, racist to white people. That character he did, <laughs> and it's, it's also like Foghorn Leghorn, right? <laughs> what was 
was he even his fucking I don't accent? even know. He played a, he he played a colonel. Yeah. Colonel Tom Parker. He was just like a goiter. He just yeah. played a goiter. <laughs> A, go- a goiter like and a Krang, straw hat. But yeah. he's a goiter. Yeah. And Tom Hanks is George Lucas's neck. <laughs> and it also shoot. It also shows how like actually, <laughs> how actually suck ass of an actor he is because he can only play this like polished Jimmy Stewart. Like I'm just a guy who cares about landing this airplane. Right. And they're like, okay, we're gonna go against type. You're gonna play a villain. This is gonna be your breakout acting. He goes, I'm an evil guy. I'm the devil. <laughs> yeah. I want to ruin Elvis because I'm evil. Yeah, he can't play bad guys. No. Everyone has to be like a morally like righteous, awesome dude. Mm-hmm. Is he a bad guy in Road to Perdition? Yeah, but it's like a fake bad guy because he's like kind of doing it for a kid or so, like so it's, it's just it's, any hero. The times like it's it's, it's okay because the times are hard and he's mm-hmm. right. Is he's like a, I guess he's a hitman. No, but... no, no, he's he's playing like a like a like a relatively moral guy within that community right. type of thing where he's like, listen, I'm a, I'm a cat, I'm a good practicing Catholic. These are all you know bad guys. I'm killing. I'm trying to get out of this yeah. business, but I, I can't seem to. That type of thing. Oh, I can see the comment section now because the big machine turned it from a kid into older, so it had to be a reverse big machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the, the machine still reverses, I, too. Listen, I said unbig, so I think it's fine. Oh, okay. We're good yeah. then. Also, There's going to be a 40 comment thread on Reddit. Yeah. Also, this I is a retarded. Up. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ben's ready to ask his fastball. He forgot the Zoltan machine, what it does. <laughs> It's Zoltar. Zoltar. You, you, it, but you wouldn't know that. Yeah, and then you dumb fuck. Yeah, and then there's an 80 comment thread that like, Jace is ready to ask his fast, but I didn't know it was a Zoltar <laughs> machine. And it's sad. It's like watching, you know, Kareem Abdul Jabbar when he should have retired. Mm-hmm. It's very sad. Yeah. yeah. First three episodes were good, but now I don't know. Yeah, the first 75 episodes were good, but the 76th was k- kind of a dip, and the 77th was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've developed, I've developed a weird Star Trek fascination with this show. Uh, uh, I think we have to end the show now. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Well, I'm getting really thirsty, and my head kind of hurts. Okay, I didn't think I didn't think we were at an hour yet. No, or, I think yeah, we're at hour three. Oh, okay. Wow. Cool. <sighs> well, the looks like the money's gotten to him. <laughs> yeah, just put in an hour, and then I just crack out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we do like an hour and a half on the main. By the way, I'm going to do retard voice so much on the show that eventually my jaw will dislocate as I'm talking because mm-hmm. I try to do an underbite as I do retard voice. Mm. Eventually, my jaw, <laughs> it'll come off and I'll be like, hey, excuse me, guys. I, I permanently talk like this now, so I have to go to a cosmetic dentist. Yeah. So I'll be right back. We, we, yeah. do, we do. This is why. This is actually why I'm a genius. Can I tell you why I'm a podcasting genius? You've gone difficult retard. I've gone smooth return <laughs> where I pull the jet back I it, like that it's like my it's the high pass filter retard yeah I'm the smooth jazz of retard I love that yeah. Yeah. I'm like kind of blue of retard Kenny G that, yeah that sounds great in the mic exactly what you're doing all the settings I have sound, yeah. are, they're they're perfectly designed for you to do smooth retard mm-hmm. voice yes and I can I go can I get a little reverb for the retard the reverb and I think it's going to be a long, 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 long time, time to Tom Hanks <laughs> puts me in the Zeta machine <laughs> and fucks me with <laughs> his wicked sin. Oh, no. <laughs> this is an interesting thing, actually, because I this is actually really fucked up now that I think about it. What? Everybody claims they love retarded people and like handicapped people and that they're great and beautiful and blah, blah, blah. Sure. There's never been one retarded pop star. Not ever. Not one. Like musical act? Yeah. And like, I liked Daniel Johnson a lot. And then people are like, you're mocking him because he's, he worked at McDonald's and like jacked off in the river. Brian, like, Brian uh, Wilson for the Beach Boys was kind of like if like the Sandy Hook shooter like made beautiful music. <laughs> Devin has a good point there. Yeah, that's and true. And the Pink Floyd guy, I guess, was just, yeah, he was Sid just talking Barrett. to triangles in his, uh, when he closed his eyes. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson was a pedophile, so that's kind of a, a form of being retarded. Yeah, kind of retarded. What yeah. I'm saying is, I want to see an arena of like, I want to see a per- someone who like sells out like a stadium, mm-hmm. and they come out and they're like, uh, "Yeah, excuse me, I'm fucking retarded, and uh, so I don't know what the first song is because I'm retarded." And they're like, uh, "Excuse me, my ri- <laughs> yeah, their rider, their rider is a tray of crowns. Yeah. The pop star sings along to the crowd. Yeah." <laughs> Is it, it, you guys know this next bit? Yeah. You guys write it. <laughs> he's the he's the he has the Britney Spears mic and he just starts eating it and it's sad. <laughs> but since he's retarded, he's actually really good at one musical instrument. So he is playing the electric guitar really well, but mm-hmm. he's just doing like the wheels on the bus. Yeah, he's playing, yeah, <laughs> playing hot cross yeah. buns. He's like, 
1877 cars for kids. K A R A R A R A R A R A R A R A R <laughs> For the best car insurance rates in town, call 1 800 General Now. <laughs> Sing along, everybody. <laughs> no, but every fan like looks like Bert yeah. Kreischer. Yeah. <laughs> they all look like Bert Kreischer and they're holding up a lighter. Yeah. They're holding up a lighter that's lit their hand on fire <laughs> and they're waving it around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> walking, walking on stage and being like, Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here in Cincinnati. And they're like, this is Tel Aviv. He's like, yeah. <laughs> All right, this first little song you might know is called One Eight Hundred Impact. <laughs> Sing along if you know the lyrics. And then he tries to count. He tries to count in his band, and he goes, one, 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 one. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a bunch. Of, his band is a bunch of other retards playing on like Fisher Price toys, mm-hmm. like the E Street yeah. band. <laughs> yeah, and he still gets he gets tons of pussy. Out tons there. of pussy. Yeah, he fucks him with his big retard he's like, dick. He's like, I like hip hop too. He's like, BK, <laughs> have it your way. Six dollars to watch you to whopper. Put in my ass and suck my cock. And- That'd be funny if like they're like he walks off stage and they're like. Encore, encore, <laughs> and he comes back at it. And he goes, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> oh, I Push a T, <laughs> push a T, Susan. I did. <laughs> He's in the legal battle with a retarded person. <sighs> yeah. That would fucking roll. It's fucked up because there's no famous retarded people that are can I, celebrities or anything. Can it I sucks t- ass. Can I tell you? I would. I would love specifically if it was, if it was a re- if it was a retarded musical act, but it was retarded Bruce Springsteen and the retarded East Street Band. <laughs> <laughs> and he came out. He had big Down syndrome neck and giant forehead, and he's dressed in like you know the tight pants and like the Bruce Springsteen jacket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He t- he's like, I want to tell a story about my old man. He tells a story about his dad. Always wanted to be a professional ball player. He's like, but he couldn't hack it in any way. And this fucking the guy who's supposed to be Clarence is like shoving the saxophone up his ass. He's farting into it. Yeah, like a fucking the retarded little yeah. Stevie's eating his bandana and choking. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Their, their groupies are, are dogs that they that suck them off when they put peanut butter on their cocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, it's, it's a him. roving band of wild dogs yeah. that lick peanut butter out of their assholes. Yeah, it's, him. <laughs> it's him in the green room after the show, and they're getting high as fuck. <laughs> off of a keyboard cleaner? <laughs> yeah, key, they sort of keyboard cleaner. <laughs> fucking, fucking crushing up... <laughs> <laughs> crushing up Skittles because they think it's like fucking pills and snorting it. And then they open, they like, they hear knocking the door. They go, oh, oh, it looks like the groupies are here. <laughs> and he opens the door and he's like, ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> it's, a of, it's a bunch of dogs just like, go, hur, 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 hur. and he goes, ladies, there's, there's plenty of retarded penis to go around. <laughs> And he goes, he goes, where's my assistant? He's got my dick peanut butter. Yeah. He's got one jar of peanut butter to eat with his hand and one to put on his dick. Mm-hmm. And he's constantly <laughs> mixing them up. <laughs> and their their manager definitely would have to be Tom Hanks playing the colonel. Yeah. yeah. It would only make You sense. are one of the finest retard acts alive. <laughs> yeah. It's it's him listening. It's him. It's it's Tom Hanks' characters listening to him on the reta- on the radio. And they're, he's like, whatever. This is just a normal... Musical act, and they go, No, Colonel, he's retarded. He goes, He's retarded? You gotta stop eating fried marbles. Yeah, he's the exact same diet as Elvis. <laughs> but it's all objects. It's glue. <laughs> you, and shit. You, you ate a fried staircase. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. stuck in a cloud with too, too much, much to see. With too much Play Doh. <laughs> I'm 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 stuck in the car and I can't find the unlocked door. 
If I, I can breathe, if, if I, I can shit, <laughs> if I can piss, if I can come, if I can pee, oh please let me pee right now. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm retired, I'm retired. Yeah, in one day. That's how it goes, right? Yeah. If I can breathe. Yeah. Breathe let me breathe yeah. right now. I, I do love that song. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Um, Who is yeah. that? Elvis. Elvis Presley. Oh, that's like, if I can dance, if I can walk, if I can stand, uh, if I can talk. That's his older. But it was, older, it was right? his big comeback thing Cup after yeah, he was if like, I can gay, dream. he was like gay and retarded for like 10 years and right. then he came back and he did this Christmas special where he's it was like after, doing the thing with the Elvis sign in the back and it's red and he's like, if I can stand, yeah. and he's like going crazy. Well, because like, yeah, it was after, on TV. it was after Martin Luther King was killed. So he's like, I have to write a song about this yeah. oh, even right. though they wanted to shoot a christmas special it's a great but, song but anyway yeah they're yeah. uh the retarded guy like it's, it's kurt loader comes on mtv news and he's like sad news today um retarded bruce springsteen was found dead in his car <laughs> um we suspected a drug overdose but it's he locked himself inside and couldn't get out and yeah. roasted to death slowly <laughs> he died in the river yeah he died he drowned in the river because he thought it was chocolate and then it's like a big funeral, like fucking, you know, David Bowie's there. And he's like, oh, he was one of the best retards I ever knew. Yeah. I remember we did a session, me and him. And I said, what if we boost the bass up? <laughs> I go, this song needs a little more bass. And he said, he said, what if I eat all the knobs on the little radio thing? <laughs> and I was like, this guy outside the box, mate. Outside the fucking box. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had gay sex. And then we had, all night. Oh, this week David Bowie. Then we had gay sex. sex. With I'm, the, I'm Australian for some reason. I ate a Mars ball out of his gay ass. I'm David Bowie. <laughs> I love singing to fame. That guy was so fucking insane. What did he do it all for? He like he would fuck lamps and shit. David so, Bowie. Yeah, yeah, David Bowie would wrap his cock around like a street light. Yeah, he like wanted come. to fuck like stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, what if I be- I did so much cocaine I became the moon? Now I really want to make like the Elvis movie but starring a retarded guy. Yeah. I think it would be like really Well, good, they already actually. did. Yeah. So. Oh, the uh, Austin Butler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's, I mean, the guy literally convinced himself that he can't do his normal voice anymore. Is he still talking like Elvis? I Last seen, I heard. I have seen interviews with him where they're like asking him about Dune and he's like, well, you know, mama, it's just great to be in Dune. It's great to play the Baron Harkonnen's See, son. I used to think that was like sociopathy, but now I just think like. Actors like have Down syndrome. Yeah, no, yeah. He's, like he's, they're actually retarded. They yeah, don't no. know who they are, yeah, or where they're. The El- going Elvis on. was played by a retarded person yeah. in the movie. He was completely. He's completely a retarded person. You need to be retarded to be a great actor. I, guess. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Dune Part Two next year, and he's he walks into frame and he goes, "Hey, I'm an alien, baby. How's it going? <laughs> I'm on the big planet Arrakis." <laughs> Baby, I need all this spice. <laughs> like, oh, the guy's fucking mentally retarded. And Dennis Villeneuve has to be like, what do you not to be uh, retarded this much? I thought they already made a shitty Dune movie. Did they make another shitty There's Dune movie? There's another one coming out. Ben, Ben, they made Dune Part 1. This is Dune Part 2. Okay. Well, no one asked for this. I, I, actually, I, I think a lot of people have, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, I actually liked it a lot. I didn't I didn't see it. All but. right. Pretty sacrilegious coming from a David Lynch fan over here. Listen, I never said I'm a David Lynch fan. Oh, dude. Two against I, one. I just say that to upset him. Yeah. Yeah. Patreon.com slash let's party. <laughs> On that note, before I before I flip a lid, uh, Devin at, at Hey Watch Pod, Jay sets out drawings by Jace. So guys, you missed the merch. It'll come. Uh, we'll do more merch months months down the road. Or maybe we won't. If it sucks, we won't <clears throat> do it anymore. Who uh, knows? Lemon Party Clips channel every 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we go live. It's on the Clips channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. And uh, that's been the episode, folks. We'll see you guys next week. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polino would whirl. 
blacker than night were the eyes of Polita, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid. I was in love, but in vain I could tell. One night. 